Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Capricorn for the month of April. All right, I'm going to use the Gilded Revere Lenormand deck again and have one card fall out from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. So just a reminder that this reading is a general reading. It is not meant for everybody. So if this reading does um, resonate with you, I'm uh, pretty happy for you if it does. That's great. Um, if it doesn't, you can always purchase a reading from me. My email will be at the bottom of the video and um, I will get back to you within 24 hours. All right. Readings usually take 48 hours to get out. You're not much longer than that. If you're new to my channel, I am what's called a clairsentient. So when I do my readings, it is based on feelings and emotion. It's called reading people. So um, when if you purchase a reading from me and you want to know about your significant other, you want to know what's going on, I can read what they feel. So it's called Reading People. It's where I shine. It's do my, I, where I do my best work. So I pick up their emotions. So if they love you, I feel like I'm in love. If they're angry, I feel like I'm angry. So that is how I do my readings. I also pick up your feelings. You know, so if you um, want to know, like I will pick up you're insecure or I would pick up you're angry with them or you're bored or they don't turn you on and there's no passion. I feel all of that. So I read people. Um, that's what I do naturally. I've been doing it for many, many years. So I do an energy reading and a tarot spread. All right. Okay. So that's how I do my readings. Um, I would say I'm about 90% accurate when it comes to reading somebody their feelings or emotions. All right. Okay. So, uh, the way I do these readings is I kind of count cards and I'll explain as I go. So the very first card I'm going to let fall out and that card is going to be them. It represents them in the relationship. All right. Okay. Capricorn for the month of April, Capricorn for the month of April. What are the messages for Capricorn for the month of April? What are the messages for Capricorn for the month of April? All right, here's the first card. There is the tower. All right, that rep represents them. That's number 19. So the next card is going to be you, and I'm going to put 18 cards down. The 19th one is going to be you. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's the bear. All right. Now the next card is going to be the advice and that is the 15th card. All right. So I'm going to give it a bit of a shuffle and the 15th card is going to be advice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen star card. All right. So the very first card here represents them. All right. That's number 19. It's the tower. Um, the tower typically represents, it does re represent government and so forth. Um, but this card can represent loneliness, being at a distance. All right. Um, it's the stresses of the difficulty of connecting with somebody, um, but they could be at a distance from you. Um, they could be very emotional and it represents loneliness. All right. So they're feeling somewhat lonely um, in this situation, this relationship with you. Okay. I'm going to see if I can get this a little bit closer for you guys. It just seems a little bit too bright. Hey, hold on. I'm going to see if I can turn the light on. Nope. I'm going to turn the light down. No, I think that's too bright, hey? Maybe I'll just shut it all off. That might be the... Okay, that's a little bit better, I think. <laughs> all right. Okay. I can never get the lighting right in this place. All right, so they're feeling lonely for this month, and they could be at a distance from you, And um, uh, but this can also represent Scorpio, Virgo or another Capricorn. So you can be involved with another Scorpio, with a Scorpio, Virgo or Capricorn. All right. And they're feeling lonesome this month. All right. So the next card is the, uh, is you. It's the polar bear. All right. That's number 15. So this card talks about 
All right, the bear talks about um, you fighting for this love. All right, you're fighting for it. Um, you're reliable. You could be protective. Um, you're a protector of this person. Uh, you can be a little bit pessimistic um, or dominant, you know. But this card is saying that um, you will fight for the relationship. Perhaps make this person feel better about the distance between the two of you guys. But you, I believe for the month of April, you are going to be the stronger one of the two. Okay? All right. You could be that supportive one to get them through the month. If you guys are at a distance and they want to come see you and it's going to be a while, I feel like you're going to try and make this person feel a little bit better, lift them up, you know, um, and just make them feel better about the situation. All right, so the next card is the star card. This is the spiritual card. This is the advice card. Now, this talks, it's, it's very optimistic. It's be, being open, optimistic, positive. It's a lucky card. Um, doesn't matter what cards are around it. Uh, so it talks about beautiful love, harmonic relationship. It's um, all doubts are gone. So I feel that if you can lift this person up this month, all right, so this advice is to communicate and um, be open and optimistic and, and positive with this person, all right, to get them through this month, all right? That's a very nice card. So the advice here is just to be optimistic and open and positive, all right? Okay, now the next card is going to be the card that's the outcome. And I'm going to add all these cards together to get the outcome. So 9 plus 1 is 10, 1 plus 5 is 6, 10 and 6 is 16, and then 1 plus 7 is 7, so 16 plus 7. All right, 16 plus 7 is 23. So I'm going to shuffle, and the 23rd card is going to be the outcome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. All right, I'm going to put this over here, move it over just a little bit. We have the coffin. All right, which talks about transitions. There, so the outcome is going to be a transition, a great transition. All right, so the eight is about, it's basically the death card, I believe, like in the normal tarot. And it speaks about um, spiritual developments. Um, it indicates uh, transformations. That is the main meaning. A death of one thing and beginning of another. So you can help this person get through this month. It's about being positive and optimistic. And there's going to be a positive transition. That's going to come out of this um, month. All right. So death of one thing and beginning of another. Which is really positive. It's a really positive um, thing. You know, very nice. Okay, so now I'm going to let one card fall out from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. What are the messages for Capricorn for the month of April? Capricorn for the month of April. Capricorn for the month of April. What are the messages for Capricorn for the month of April? Capricorn for the month of April. Capricorn. Whoops. Capricorn for the month of April. Okay, oh, two cards fell out. We don't want both. Messages for Capricorn for the month of April. Capricorn for the month of April. Again. Oh my god, these two cards fell out again. for the month of April. Look at this. Again, I'm just going to, oh, now it's this one and this one. Okay. Now, this could be the one. 
you're already met the romantic partner you seek, and religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. All right. Okay, isn't that funny? This card kept falling out, and then there's the one. This was the free yourself one. Whoops, the free yourself. It was right next to it. So, all right, everyone, there's your reading for the month of April. I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Please email me if you would like to get a private reading, um, and uh, I can give you the directions on how to get that. It is very easy, and um, I hope you have a great month of April. All right, thank you for watching, subscribing, liking. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it all. All right, everyone, have a great month. Bye-bye.